Everything has to be right. Well, how is this any more right than it was a mile back? I don't know, it just feels right. Whatever. We have to be close to Mother Earth. Get real, Kirsten. Get over it, Amy. We now convene the Sisters of Anti-Christmas. Sisters? <laughs> what is this, a script? We bemoan Christmas as a petty, over-commercialized media event. What's bemoan? Means I didn't get any good presents last year. <laughs> well, I can totally relate to that. Besides, it doesn't even look like it's going to snow. You guys, I thought you were going to help me figure out how to get Dave. Oh, come on. His is bent anyway. We are, Amy, but why just figure out Dave? We should figure out everything. We're girls, remember? We're the master race. Killer. We could control everything and everyone. So we just have to have a bond, like a secret that the rest of the world will never know. Ew. <laughs> what do you mean? What's this? It's our symbol, the Virgin of Anti-Christmas. <laughs> Virgin? <laughs> Ew. I dream those Art Deco boobs. Cool, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Isn't this your grandfather's book? Yeah, he also told me never to come out here. Oh, Royal Bust if he finds out. Hey, the candle. <coughs> ah! Are you okay? Wait, here. Let's get out of here. Well, what about the ceremony? We just have to be blood sisters. Oh. was for being here without my permission. As the second was for the lie you were about to tell. I'm sorry. I... I worry. What were you doing with the book? Nothing. I was looking at it. Where? You weren't at home? You were in the forest? No, you told me never to go there. I also told you never to touch my books. You have hurt yourself? Let me see. How does this happen? Hmm. It's not too bad. The bleeding has stopped. Let's wash it. No thanks, Gramps. I'll do it. Are you hurt? Good. Where have you been? Nowhere. I was with Brooke and Amy. The unholy trio. Your grandfather said you went in his room without permission. Yeah, I guess I was. Well, you broke the rules. You're going to have to be punished. He's already slapped me twice. Well, that isn't going to stay with you. But this will. 
Your savings account is history. I'm going to the bank tomorrow to close it out. You can't do that. That is so totally outrageous. I earned that money. It's mine. Not anymore. Oh my God, Agamemnon, it's finally happened. I'm living a cliche. My cat is the only friend I have left. How stupid. Look, I don't mind that you turn out to be a girl. And I don't mind that you got pregnant. But just don't take off with the father, okay? Because, like, I need all the friends I can get right now. ridiculous you were dreaming oh, there, oh. there's your answer it was the cat it was a fucking little ninja troll agamemnon come here <gasps> don't you hurt her mom 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 to go to art school. You earned it. Your stepmother is a royal bitch. My mother. Are you sure? <laughs> Isn't she, like, too young? She had me when she was 16. She's my mother, all right? 
Whatever. <laughs> She's still a royal bitch. <laughs> She just needs to get laid. Well, uh, who doesn't? I can't wait till tomorrow night. <laughs> are you afraid of getting in trouble? What are they gonna do, fire me? Can't keep the money anyway. Just my tips. Hey, guys, it's almost break. Let's go goof on Santa. I've been waiting for this all day. Cool. <laughs> Because if it happens again, you're going to be gone. Hey, Gavin. How are you? How you doing? Okay, Hugh. It looks like Christmas is treating you okay. Got my nine to day chip. It was a real tough crime, but I did it. Uh, congratulations. Thanks. Look, you're always welcome around here. Why don't you get some coffee and donuts at the snack counter? On me. Come on, Hugh. I can buy my own coffee. And you know I don't need any donuts. I need a job. That's what I need. Well, I don't have anything for you. We contract out for our security now. Well, how nice. But I know you always need extra help around here at Christmas time. I'll do anything. Look, I'm straight. You can trust me. Give me a break, please. I'm sorry. What did you say? I'm sorry. You know, you really are sorry, Hugh. You take that sentiment outside, mister. It's Christmas time. You know, Merry Christmas to you. Ho, ho, ho. And what do you want for Christmas this year, my young lad? I want a Nintendo. Nintendo? That's great. They're on sale today in the basement. Today only. Merry Christmas. Basement, Sarah. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. And what do you want for Christmas, little girl? For it not to be Christmas. Why? Oh, I eat snow. Can you make it snow? Oral. What? Santa said oral. Anything like this has happened. Hi, Santa. And you, my dear. Santa is for Golem's customers. You're in uniform. I could fire you both, but I won't. It's Christmas. Yes. 
see what's keeping on her. The girl's out there. Nothing like this has happened at Golems in 50 years. Sign of the times. Now the guy back there is using narcotics when it happened. Are you Kirsten Hiller? Yeah, but I don't know why you want to talk to me. The guy tries to fill you up. You slap him. Words are exchanged. He's found dead a few minutes later with his nuts cut off. What should I think? <laughs> he was a pervert and a drug addict and somebody killed him. Isn't that the spirit of Christmas? No, it's not. You look terrible. You know, what a rough day at work. Santa got murdered. I don't find that funny. Not in the least. Have you seen Adam Moon Nun? I haven't seen the cat all day. Here, Aggie. Kitty, 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 kitty. The Surgeon General says a pack a day will keep your lungs nice and dry. Well, I guess things could be worth it. How could I get evicted out of something like this? Merry Christmas. I don't even have any goddamn clothes. in a row. I'm not going to get any sleep. It was a troll. It was a record. I know what I saw, Mom. Eat it. Eat it. This picture is not in any of my books. Where did you see it? What? Nowhere. You never saw this before? I made it up. What did you see in the window? A troll, a raccoon, I don't know, a ninja gremlin. You meant there's a forest. No, I right, didn't. Don't look, look, it's all over now. I'll call an exterminator to lay out some traps in the morning. Kirsten, go to bed. We could all use some sleep. They're here. The elf and Luta. Don't start that again. You and your damn elves. I'm sick of it. It killed the cat and dragged it to her window. If you want to know, I killed the cat. The raccoon may have dragged it to the window. But I killed it.
You okay? What? Where's that spot that you usually have? You look like you're a little under the weather or something. I didn't sleep all night. Well, don't feel so bad. I didn't sleep all night either. Things haven't been going exactly right. Well, right back at you, sunshine. They haven't been going too good for me either, so don't feel bad. You know, my cat got killed last night. Well, I'm sorry about your cat. I really am. I'll forget it. No, I am. I mean it. I remember when I was a little kid, I had a dog named Pew Shooter, and I loved him so much. When he died, I cried like a baby, so I know how you feel. It'll be all right. We'll get any snow this year? I sure hope so. Wouldn't be much like Christmas if it didn't snow. Everything looks so pretty when it's covered with snow, doesn't it? A gavin. Hey, you. Morning. Hey, thanks for the call. You still want a job? What, are you joking? Sure I do. You bet. Come with me. Yeah, hang on just for a second. Things are looking up already. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, my God. <laughs> Life's a bitch, Eddie. First you sin and then you die. In my case, they piss on you. I hope this doesn't start to represent a trend. Man, this looks familiar. No, Ace. I'm not a detective anymore. I'm not even a store detective anymore. This is none of my concern. I'm Santa. All I gotta do is just take care of my reindeer. Why? We have always known where you were. We have simply respected your desire for privacy. Then why come here now? You had us convinced they could not be resurrected. It's true! When there is no more room in hell, the elves will walk the earth. The elfin soul. You knew. I don't understand, Doctor. What are you doing? Are you going to shoot me? I'm not sure what to do. Rejoice! It is, uh, it is her, isn't it? Your granddaughter. The pure genetic liar. I decided many years ago this must not happen. She must have nothing to do with this. You decided? You decided nothing. Too late to turn back now. She is the most important person on earth. From her will grow the new order. Besides, with you or without you, it is happening. What do you think? Give it up. Dave doesn't like red. We'll get you something better. Remember, 9.30, back door. Are you guys sure we're not going to get in trouble? Relax, we need experiences like this. It helps me to get over things. Besides, it helps me with my poetry, too. <laughs> life is long and life is hard, but Kevin's is thick and Dave's is a yard. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Whatever. Just let me finish up here. This isn't really a yard, is it? Yeah, it is.
See you later, Eddie. from college about mystical symbols and runes. Occult sciences, section 666. Are you kidding me? That's got to be a joke. Morning goods. Meet us in lingerie. What's that? The tape. Oh, genius. How are the guys going to get in? Oh, meet me in lingerie. God, bro, how lame. this out. What kind of slut dog suit is that? No way. Way. No way. Way. I said no way. Whatever. Oh my god. Killer. It's not too tuna, is it? No, it's totally hot. What is that? 
for us masters without slaves huh don't you get it masters without slaves oh <laughs> yeah <laughs> you don't get it do you no <laughs> This is just perfect. It's getting really late. When are they going to get here? I don't know, but I'm getting hungry. Let's get a pizza. Yeah, let's get a pizza. Where's the phone? Are you kidding? We're not even supposed to be here. Just get a donut from the snack bar. Oh, yeah, the donuts. I remember. What are you doing here? We didn't touch anything. We didn't steal anything. Just don't tell my parents, okay? It's okay. Just calm down. I can't calm down, okay? Oh, God, just don't arrest us, okay? He can't arrest us. He's Santa. What are you doing here? I'm taking care of things. No, you're not. You didn't even have a job this morning. You're the one who put the tape on the back door. See, you're not supposed to be here either. Cool. Mexican standoff. Well, we won't tell if you won't. I'll make a deal with you. You don't steal anything. You don't break anything. And you clean up after yourselves. And don't bug me, all right? Deal. No, she don't get any Christmas presents. We don't believe in you anyway, Santa. What happened to the beautiful youth of today? Don't you believe in anything? She should be at home by now. I think she's spending the night at a friend's house. Whose house? Brooke or Amy, I don't know. I understand. She's at a friend's house. No, she is not. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. All right, we're getting lucky tonight, huh? Not you guys. Oh. Oh. You? Right you? Me. Look, I don't want Kirsten. She's a bitch. Oh. You fag, you're just afraid of her. Yeah. She's yeah. weird. I want Brooke. Brooke is mine. Shit. What two? They were supposed to leave it open. Chill. Look out. Hormones. Let's pry it. Look, I got a tire iron in the car. Hey, use the right tool for the right job. Hey, he's my got tools point. already. <laughs> oh, man. Killer. One for each of us. Hey, Dave will like red if I'm in it. Hey, who gets the half tent? So half dog? Huh? Kirsten. You're not really gonna... 
You're not really going to do it, are you? Those guys, forget it. I'm saving it for someone special. But how do you stop them? Just say no. It scares the hell out of them. They don't know how to deal with it. I'd rather just go through with it than get in a confrontation. It's easier. His angel shall rise to impede us. Jesus Christ, are these the guys you've been waiting for? What? Look, you see those stairs over there? Can you make it those stairs? Jesus Christ, what is that? I don't know, a troll. I think it means you're helping me.
Get safe, man. Really log down. Duck the dogs. Oh, we gotta get out of here. Eliminate him. No, it is too dangerous now. We could harm her. Crush him. Where the hell are they going? I don't care. Let's get out of here. Our store dusted for latent prints. You know, Mike, you just never learn. You're one of the best detectives on the force, and you drank your way out of that job. You know the problem with you? You take that home with you, then you drank your way out of a two-bit security gate. Now this. Look, man, I'm telling you what I saw, goddammit. I'm telling you I saw a two-foot elf. Yeah, packing AK-47s, riding pink elephants. Come on, man, I want the facts. Don't give me that Joe Friday shit, man. I'm telling you this girl's life is in danger, goddammit. You want me to put my ass on the line? Oh, that would be a switch. You're implicated in this whole thing, you know. Well, that's why I need a little time. All right, you've got 24 hours, pal. Is that enough time? I really don't know if that's enough time. It better be enough time. You are liable for every penny in damage. Just what do you think you were doing here? We're just camping out. No, that's a lie. You were planning to rob me. What are you doing wearing the merchandise? Hey, why don't you lay off of her, buddy? She's been through enough. Oh, don't tell me she's been through a lot. What about me? What about the store? This is the busiest time of year. Tomorrow is Christmas Eve, for Christ's sake. Do you think anybody's gonna shop here with bloodstains on the floor? We saw my friend's blood all over your fucking store. You want me to stay here and clean it up, asshole? Hey, you wanna hit somebody, you hit me. I knew she was here and I let him stay. You understand that? You didn't belong here either, McGavin. Well, if it hadn't been for him, I might be dead too. Well, in any event, you're both fired. I want you as far away from here as possible. Nobody gets shot. Oh.
what's happening? I don't know, but I'm damn well going to find out. I'm going to drive you home. They got to talk to you folks. They won't care. Well, I do. Thanks, sir. Just call me Mike, okay? If you don't mind, I just need to find you say I hope that makes you happy that you call me Sydney. Watch your hands. I feel like I should cry. I can't. Well, it's not over yet. You were taking drugs, weren't you? You were all taking drugs. It's true, Mom. Brooke and Amy are dead. What your daughter's telling you is the truth. You know, I don't. I don't think you understand this. And there's more to this. It was a troll, not a raccoon. A troll. That's it. I don't know who you are, Mister. But you better get out of here. I'm calling the police. The idea of my daughter spending the night with a man twice her age. Don't you ever listen to anything? I don't think you understand, ma'am. Your daughter's in great danger. These men are trying to kill your daughter. And besides that, there's that creature. Give me the police. You better just leave. I'm sorry I brought your back. I didn't understand. I'm not going to give up. 911, thank you. Hey, Nate! Why? Describe the creatures that you saw. Would you believe me? All right. It was about two feet tall, and it was a troll, just like Kirsten said. Are you positive? Hey, look, why don't you tell me something? You tell me here what's going on. You seem to know everything that's going on around here. You do not understand the nature of the forces here. They could destroy you. What forces? Who's going to destroy me? I will protect my granddaughter. You cannot help. Do not interfere. The priests are on their way. You better leave. You stupid old man. You and your stupid myths. Patrick, Taft University. Adrian, go back to things. I am getting you out of here. You know what's happening, don't you? There are many things about my past I have not told you, and about your destiny. It's a destiny I am afraid that I have created for you. I'm scared. There's no time to be afraid. There are many things that I have done that I must teach you to undo. Don't back. I have things to prepare. Sorry about that, too. Listen, can you tell me where I can find Dr. Gene Scottrick's country? It's in the library if you think you can find it. Could you show me where it's at? It's over there. Thank you very much. You've been very helpful. Have a Merry Christmas. Dr. Fitzpatrick? Uh, yes. I'm Michael McGowan. Yeah. 
I don't want to take up too much of your time. Oh, please, take all the time you like. It's Christmas Eve. I only have my in-laws to look forward to if I go home. Oh, what do you need? What can you tell me about this? Oh, now that's an obscure one. Yes. It's not Coptic, and it's not Phoenician. It's uh, not a room, actually. Although it does look like one. Let's see. Uh, how much do you know about your Bible, Mr. McGavin? I had one once. Genesis, chapter 6. Oh, do come along. Thank you. Noah and the ark. God is not pleased. It seems that the angels have been slipping down to the earth and begatting with the women. Plus, that thing with Eve and the apple is still sticking in his craw. God is fed up with the entire place and decides to do away with it. But, at the last minute, he relents and thinks, Now, Noah, now there's a very fine fellow. Uh, yes, he's worth saving. I'll save him and his entire family. And since God has nothing against the animals, he commands Noah to take them into the ark with him. So what? So this. Now, among the creatures specified by God to be saved, it is said, the little creeping things. Now, are they insects? Maybe. A lizard, right? Wrong. No. Doc, do me a favor. What is the bottom line? Well, I'm telling you. The bottom line is, the little creepy things are the little creatures that creep on two legs. Idiomatically, we call them elves. Elves? Yes, that symbol you showed me. It's attributed to the elves. Doc, wait a second. Hmm? Elves. Ugly little creatures that stand about two feet tall. Oh, however they're supposed to look. Do you think that there could be an elf cult or a sect alive today that would be crazy enough to kill people? Oh, no. But about 50 years ago, there was a group that believed in elves. They did one hell of a lot of killing. The Nazis. The Nazis? Mm-hmm. They believed in elves? Oh, yes. They believed in a lot of things. You know, if you could ignore their brutality, you'd have to say they were just a bunch of crackpots. Well, what the hell were these Nazis going to do with these elves? I don't know. Oh, actually, Professor O'Connor, he is more up to date on the Nazis than I am. Yes. Where could I find him now? Let's see, it's Christmas Eve. He should be home. Hmm, thank you. Well, I think that I've seen an elf. Do you think that I'm a crackpot? Oh. Are you asking if I believe in elves? No, I don't. But God did. You've been a hell of a lot of help, Doc. And you're one piece of work. Merry Christmas. Oh, yes. Merry Christmas. I just talked to the police. It seems you were telling me the truth about your friends. Mom, I've been so scared. I didn't know what was going on. I wish Dad were here. He'd know what to do. You remind me of your father. You're a lot like him. I am? You're attractive. You're bright. You're independent, impulsive, self-centered, narcissistic. And I know exactly what's been going on. Oh, you and your friends, you were where you weren't supposed to be. Oh, sure, it might not have been your fault, Kirsten. But it wouldn't have happened if you hadn't been there. Don't look away from me when I'm talking to you. Why are you packing? think you're going? Grandfather said I was in Grandfather! Trouble. Shut up about your grandfather. He's a total incompetent. Why do you hate everyone? Why do you hate me so much? 
I wish you were dead and Dad was still alive. Dad! Dad? You want to talk to Dad? Go down to the study and talk to him! What are you saying? Dad's dead! Dad is in the study! Grandfather is in the study! Your father isn't dead. The man in the study is your grandfather! And your father! Yeah, I need to talk to Dr. O'Connor. Is he home? Senor O'Connor is back. Is that roast beast? No, sweetie. It's roast turkey. No, what? Yeah. Rosa, what? what's going on, Rosa? Hey, I'm sorry to bother you, Doc. I need to get some vital information from you. It's important. How dare you burst in on me like this? It's Christmas Eve. I'm having dinner with my family. If you want to talk to me, call my office on Thursday. Hey, look, I know it's Christmas Eve, and I apologize about that. I got your number from Dr. Fitzpatrick. I need you to help me out. This is a matter of life and death, and it's not going to wait till Thursday. You understand that? You know I'm a member of Neighborhood Watch. Come on, man. Take it easy. This is only going to take a minute. All right. What's it about? Why don't you tell me what you know about the elves? Elves? My God, this is a matter of life and death. Rosa, telephone la policia. Okay. Llame al policio, hey, Rosa. No way, ve. Uno, uno. By the okay? time you get through to her, I'll be out of here, all right? Tell me what you know. All right. You have one minute. I want to know the connection between the elves and the Nazis. There are two schools of thought. What are they? One, the Nazis experimented with elves as assassination teams. Small, easily hidden, silent, vicious. They have magical powers. They can't be hurt or killed. They eat anything. They're a perfect soldier. The problem is, there's no such thing. What else is there? Tell me some more. Theory two. The elves were a genetic engineering experiment. Now, I like this one better. It mixes science and the occult. The Nazis did have some clever scientists. This was before today's technology, of course. Each elf was to house the haploid gene structure in its sperm cells to produce the master race. Once again, magical powers can't be hurt or killed. Driven to select the genetically perfect human mate, the proverbial virgin, of course. Holy midnight consummation on Christmas Eve. Wait a minute. Tonight, you mean... The elf mates with a virgin on Christmas Eve to produce the master race. And it will eventually rule the world. But, once again, the problem is, there is no such thing. No elves. Honey, would you tell these kids not to be throwing things at each other? Now your time is up. Daddy, what's elves? Elves. I'm not proud of what I did, Kirsten. What I did, I thought was necessary. I thought it was important. Later, I was so ashamed. That is why you were never told. And now you need to know you are in danger. was not traumatic for her at all. I, I would do nothing to hurt my own daughter. She was drugged and unconscious. I, I took no pleasure in it. it. It had to be. Why? To produce you. The inbreeding was planned. It was controlled, so you would be the perfect female line, a repository, 
a receptacle for the pure genetic information that we thought must survive, must conquer. You're insane. But Kirsten, I love you. You're beautiful and you're perfect and I love you. No! Presence this year, there doesn't seem to be much of a tree. Damn Nazi or something? Is that elf yours? How many teeth you got, huh? <laughs> now how many you got? play with my things. Could that be Santa?
Kirsten. Kirsten? What's going on? I don't know. That's not Santa. Really? Hey, sport. Let me borrow that flashlight. Don't break it. I won't, buddy. You still love this to me. Get out of my way. If you need it, but only follow. I must show her how to destroy it. She can destroy it later. Right now, there's a couple of humans trying to kill her. No, they want to protect her. They will not hurt her. We have until midnight. They are making preparations. We must make preparations for ourselves. Please. Let's get out of here. He's crazy. Take it easy. I heard a ton of crazy things today. Nothing crazier than that elf, and we both saw it. If the old man's got something to say, then we better listen to him. What you may have heard today is nothing, nothing. Lies and rumors that we spent 50 years ago. Only what we wanted people to hear. We? You were a goddamn Nazi. That's what you were. You were one of them. Tell me something. What in the hell is this? Your new party insignia? No. That is our original party insignia. What's wrong? Are we going to be all right? No, Willie. Gramps is a Nazi. What I was, what I am now, is unimportant. I will pay the price for what I have done. Well, what in the hell have you done? I impregnated my own daughter to produce an offspring that would be suitable to the elf. Jesus Christ, suitable. You mean... Suitable to mate with me. My God, I can't believe what I'm hearing. These goddamn stories are true. You created your own perfect genetic line. And use your daughter to give birth to a race of army elves? The Fourth Reich? You demented, perverted son of a bitch, you make me sick. Yes, there will be an army of elves. But the offspring of an elf and a human is neither elf nor is it human. Then what in the hell is it? If you are alive tomorrow, read the last book of the Bible, Revelations. It's a very frightening story that commences tonight at midnight if we do not stop. Are you convinced that he's crazy? She is the daughter of Elysium, chosen to give birth to the son of Elysium. He is the Antichrist. Why don't you get your goddamn hands off of her? Haven't you caused enough trouble already? I will show you! I will show you! Give me the sketchbook! Give me the symbol! The symbol! You better show me something. You see this? You know what this is? Come on, this is incredible. Where did you get this? I dreamed it. You dreamed it? It comes from your dream. Your dream comes from your deepest being. It is inside you. You know how to do it. Do what? Kill the elf. I will show you. Crystal. So what about the crystal? It is an elf stone. It's your goddamn Nazi friend. You just shut up. You understand? Ah. 
For the record, he has, from left to right, Herr Dr. Hila, his grandson Willy, and our bright spark of divinity, Kirst. No, we must call her back on. Tell her what she needs to know. Tell her. What are you doing? We put this behind the head. Kirsten, get your brother. Get out of here. Hell is full. I wonder where you will go. No! Oh, my God. Can you feel it? The magic of this place. I have heard of it. Oh, no, 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 forgive me. I have no desire to hurt you. Leave me alone. I love you. I love you more than anything. You are everything. Calm down. Calm down. Come on, 
Come on! It's coming! Come on! I'm gonna get the crystal from Grandfather's study! No! Come on! It's protecting me! It's not gonna hurt me! Go! Father said I would know what to do. He said it was inside of me. 